In an earlier video, I showed how I used a blower and a vacuum to clean the coils of a refrigerator. Um, the condensing coil is the one that is the warm coil on the outside um, that pushes heat to the room, removing heat from the refrigerator interior by way of the evaporator coil that's on the inside. Um, and so we are uh, moving heat out of the refrigerator uh, in order to create what's left, which is cold. So um, refrigerators are really, we just kind of say they're about moving heat. Oh, I see I have a spider that has just crawled into the frame. Spider, you get to live because no creatures were killed during this video. Um, so uh, let me transfer spider out of the out of the range here. Oh, spider's gone. Um, so I was uh, I was before I was using a a blower and a vacuum to clean this, and as I was scoping around in the garage, I realized that I had a can of air conditioning coil cleaner. I think it's really intended for the heat pump outside, but it should be a, a chemical that is not corrosive to aluminum and other metals. Uh, so that would make it a good uh, candidate. Now it's probably also supposed to be rinsed off with a hose. Um, your narrator is not sure how they will do that exactly, but maybe with a uh, just a hand spray bottle. So let's let's see let's see what this looks like. It says shake well. My refrigerator is unplugged, as we did in the previous video. It occurred to me at the end of the other video. Always make sure to plug it back in when you get through, or you'll be drinking your ice cream. So we're going to shake it well. We're just going to try a little squirt and see see if it looks like it's working. Foam and uh, I don't know how much of the coil I can really get with this, but we'll try. And I'm probably going to end up cleaning up off the floor whatever residual there is, but we'll give it a good foam and we'll see if this does a better job. Unfortunately, I really can't get to the other side unless I take off this end panel of the, the, uh, um, this cylinder of coils, or I take off the fan panel at the end down here, which I don't really want to do. That fan, yeah, the fan could use some cleaning too. We'll clean the fan, we'll make it more efficient. I can see the inside of some of the coils there. So this is going to drip down into the drip pan that is on the bottom of uh, refrigerators. And <clears throat> just for sport, so that I can make an extra mess when a small mess won't do, I'm gonna see if I can blow some of this back into the other part of the coil. Uh, I'm uh, not the smartest person in the world. <clears throat> I'm relentless. Let's see. Cleaning that off the floor. But, wow, does that look a lot cleaner. Let's do that one more time. That was fun. So load it up. I'll put it especially a lot at the top so it can drain down. And now I'm a big fan of this. I've never used this coil cleaner before. I have no interest in this company. I don't even know who they are. I've been paid nothing. I bought that retail. So um, I have no uh, dog in the hunt on that. I just found it in my garage and so I'm using it. So uh, let's let it sit. I wonder how long you're supposed to let it sit. Let's see. Do, 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 do. We can under pressure. Spray evenly. Allow foaming action to break down grime and dirt for quote a few minutes. Rinse off uh, with water, self-rinsing on condensate producing coils. Oh, I see. So if this was a cold coil, if we were uh, in the winter, let's say, and our heat pump 
was outside, uh, our heat pump condensing unit was outside, the coils would be cold and they would actually condense water and rinse themselves. For heavy soil buildup, repeat application. Oh, we've done that. Allow time for coil to dry before restarting system may also be used on evaporator coils. Now, I don't know why anyone would ever have dirt on their evaporator coil in their refrigerator, but you could very easily have lots of dirt built up, particularly if somebody has not properly changed the filters on uh, an evaporator coil for a heat pump on a house air handler. Enough of that, huh? So I'll be cleaning up the floor here shortly. Um, I believe I own a spray bottle that I'll spray this with, um, just hand squirt spray water. It's dripping down into the condensate pan, um, the refrigerator and its cycle and defrosting of the freezer has a condensate drip that comes down into the pan and the warm air is used uh, blowing across this coil is also used to evaporate that condensate down in the condensate pan. In my case, I'm going to um, get some paper towels and, and clean that out. Probably not a good idea to just have that sitting down in there, although it might clean the pan. So it's time to wipe up and clean up, but uh, that is a secondary way to clean your, um, clean your condensing coil. And um, again, if you just want to create absolute chaos in your home, uh, you can always use the mechanical uh, electrical blower. after because you don't want to stain or warp your floors. Hope that helps. Uh, maybe your refrigerator will run more efficiently in this hot, hot, hot summer and your ice cream will stay cold and your milk will be fresh. Good luck.